What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today, and before you judge a 27 year old man for playing Roblox, uh, hear me out, so I was searching for some inspiration today, and I was really struggling to find any on what I wanted to uh, do a video on, so I was, uh, I just end up looking on my desktop randomly and realised that I have Roblox on this game still, that I've not touched in quite some time, and... I thought, you know what, let me just search to see if there's any new like MX games come about at all. And they really hadn't, so I thought I'd load up Boot Lake, which I have done a video on in the past, don't get me wrong. And they've done like just a, a massive overhaul. Like it's actually really, really impressive. I mean, we've got an entire new enduro area here, and the actual quality of all this as well looks pretty damn nuts. I mean, let's go through here, I'll show you a little bit of a tour. And the good thing now as well is the bike that I'm currently on is automatic. So I've not got to worry with all of the uh, the different buttons and getting confused. And it just seems to make life uh, a lot easier than it was before. And I feel like when I've covered this uh, bootleg game in the past, I feel like I've rushed through it. I feel like I didn't do it much justice. And before starting recording this video, I've kind of... Is that man made out of cheap, like, bread? I have no idea. Uh, but bef I feel like in the past I've not really paid too much attention to it and just kind of written it off. So what I want to do today is go around, we'll try as many uh, tracks as we possibly can and see how it goes really. I know a lot of bike life guys quite enjoy this because you can get, uh, get up on the back wheel. But there's about f four plus different tracks in this entire place and I want to just go through a bunch of them and see how it goes. And I really think it, it has been improved and worked upon since last time I played it. So if you were one of the people that slides into the, uh, the comments every now and then and asks if, uh, oh, is MX Bikes ever going to come to console, you know, is this free, is that free, so on and so forth, it, this is completely free. So uh, if you do own a PC and oh, you don't mind get hopping on a bit of Roblox, I would definitely recommend doing so. And I feel like the handling of these bikes has got on a whole lot better too, which is really big because I feel like in the past they were so difficult to control and I actually feel like the whip animations as well were actually quite good like probably better than they should be I generally think they're better than some of the AAA title games so can I try and show you in third person the whip animations like you get a little bit a little bit steezy a little bit of turn downy and then the, the thing that's weird but it does end up saving you more often than not is that there's no uh, no like collisions not collisions there's no like falling off of the bike you know once you're once you're on the bike, you're on the bike, you just kind of ro ride with it and that's it. But it's actually, like, really, really fun. I can't lie. It's, I feel like I should almost be ashamed that I'm having so much fun on it, but I feel like it's really impressive. And I, after I was playing this earlier, I hopped on a few different, like, Roblox games that were really popular ones. And I didn't realise just how useful Roblox was as a tool overall, like a modding tool. And it's just very impressive to see what people have created on this game as a whole. I mean, I'm I definitely couldn't do it myself. You see like these ruts here, the ruts are actually really, really cool. I mean, it's more like a, a scale electrics track than anything. You know, you can go, you just sit in it and it hooks you round. Can we get up and over this bad boy? We can. You just go, ah, <laughs> you can get a lot of speed going. I feel like races on this would be so manic. I would be absolutely wild. Maybe one day along the line, we'll do some like sort of public lobby. That could be quite funny. I love how they've gone to the extent of like making the inside ruts smaller than the outside so you can't carry as much speed. And oddly enough, I feel like I actually quite prefer the first person camera. Sometimes it can be a bit disorientating when you crash. But it's like the whips like look and actually feel quite cool, which I don't think they should do. But I, I love it. I love it. I, I, it's just so funny to me. Let's take a little beeline over here. Let's go do some soupy cross. Now, what, what way do we go is the question because I've not fully tested everything out here. I feel like it should be this way. A little on on off. Oh, big old berm. Oh my Christ. And you get a lot of speed going around there. Send the finish line. little single. Let's get on the binders again. I have no idea what this dirt is going to do to the bitrate because it's very like detailed. It's very like pixely, which sometimes YouTube is not a big fan of. Let me just get back on the track. YouTube doesn't like it a lot of the time, so we'll, I'm, I'm hoping that this video doesn't look too too awful. Try and get back on here. Messing up the Supercross triple completely. I'm doing it, not doing it any justice whatsoever. Right, so careful. Around. Oh, we've already done a lap. That's a very short track. Almost like a bit of arena cross. So let's go on, on, off. Around here. Little double. Love that. Oh, that's probably meant to be a triple, actually. Let's get on the binders again. 
round to the right. And the thing is as well, like you actually have to be careful on the throttle where you slide out. So traction is legit a thing on this, which again, I just find so funny. Uh, the only downside is because it's like hard objects that have edges to them, I don't think Roblox ever imagined making motocross tracks in the game, is uh, if you do go off track, you have to just kind of find a safe place to get back on again. I believe this is another Supercross track which it is, and there's another one or two motocross tracks that I will try and find for you as well. But I think in the, in, if anybody are avid Roblox users, I know some of this community is uh, on the younger side, and you've not tried this out yet and you like your motorbikes, then definitely give it a go. I went through, oh, excuse me sir, coming through, I went through a couple of different let's call it the motocross games on Roblox, and none of them were very good other than, other than this one. So I imagine that a lot of time and effort has been spent on this, and I know the Boots Lake guys or the developers of this, they, they watch my videos as well. I've seen them in the comments every now and then telling me to play when there's been an update. Although, I don't know when this most recent update happened. I've not, not seen them for a while, but it's just really, really good stuff. You can spawn all different kinds of bikes. Uh, I've heard some two strokes going around as well. You can have almost every bike you can imagine as well. There's all sorts of different things. Let me have a quick, uh, let me have a change up real quick. If I delete vehicle and then I need to go into... Oh god, oh god, I've ruined it by deleting it while I'm on it. Oh no! Oh god, I might have done something wrong here. Let's go spawn vehicle. We've got all sorts of different bikes to go through. I mean, you can have like an RM125 if you if you want to. And I think all the bikes, they look fairly decent as well. Uh, the only downside is the two strokes. The two strokes don't sound very good. So I'm going uh, to get rid of that because that's just hurting my ears. But look, look how many different bikes there are to go through. Got different Hondas. We've got Husky. We've got a Beta Honda again. Oh, no touching. What's this? What is that? That is a random Bud Racing Kawasaki. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I, I want to spawn that uh, KTM that I was on again. It's actually really good fun. That's the wrong one. One more time. Let's keep going to the end. It was the test one. There we go. Test. This is what I want to be on. All right, let's hop on this bad boy. And I want to take you over to the other national track. Because, I mean, while, while Supercross is fine, I, because of the limitations of Roblox as a whole, I feel like motocross works best, you know, when it's more, like, spread out, more more open. Uh, when you're trying to fit into, like, a small combined area, it can be, uh, it can be a little bit difficult sometimes. But let's, uh, let's go for a little ride over here, and we can show you what's what. We've got Whip, Whip Summit is the name of the track. So let's have a little roll through here there's some as i said there's the enduro area at the beginning there's some trails dotted around as well there's some single trail stuff so that is it's basically just a massive compound i've seen an area with freestyle jumps too which looks pretty cool and i think we get on the track here yes right this is the way that we're meant to go so let's go for a little bit of a brap i need to try and remember the actual uh, track layout first and foremost but the ruts are actually really cool i'm not sure what they've used to make them ruts i'm sure there's probably like pre-made assets within Roblox that they've stitched together to make the corners. Let's get, oh god, get back on. But I think these sorts of tracks are the ones that work best because they're very, very open, very fast, very flowy. Should we try and get a bit steezy at top of the hill? Rip! Oh, hold on, dear! Hold on, dear! Oh, squaring up the rut. A little bit of steeze again on the binders. Oh, you see, they've even got like a, a Glen Helen-esque looking sign on it. Let's go around to the right. Oh, a little drop down back onto the start straight. Look up to the right. Oh god, we're coming in a bit hot. Okay, I've just completely blew that rut. Yo, yeet! Um, I've ended up facing the wrong way. Uh, let's get back going again. And I'm not sure uh, where the models come from as such, but they, the models are actually surprisingly high quality for this game. Uh, I'm guessing like some of them are free from like Sim. I don't know if how many are shared with MX Bikes as well. Maybe they got a bunch from uh, CG Trader. Not sure how many are paid for, but it's surprisingly impressive. You know, if I had a PC when I was younger and I discovered this existed, I'd probably spend hours and hours and hours on it. I feel like we're a little bit spoiled nowadays, so we get to play games like Sim and Bikes and Track Day R with all of their amazing like graphics. And so, I mean, Sim's graphics aren't amazing. I mean, Track Day R's graphics are probably the best ones so far. I mean, but MX Bikes is pretty good. Uh, the Monster Energy Supercross and the Legends, they usually look good, but don't ride too good. And in a sad way, I probably have more fun messing about on this for 20 minutes than I would do messing around on <laughs> Legends on Monster Energy Supercross track, which um, yeah is definitely definitely odd. This is a very long track, by the way. Got a little split section, love that. What we're we doing? Stepping up. I like how he's kind of 
like they've blended the dirt onto the edges of the track so you can't see the individual blocks so if you do go off the side of it then you don't really have a, a tough time of getting back onto it but you see it's not not difficult at all i mean i've got very very limited amount of experience on this game and i'm seeming to get around it i'd love the whips i, I don't know how has Roblox got such good whip physics? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do for a thumbnail on this because it doesn't. There's no like fly around, like replay-ish kind of camera mode, and I'm kind of I'm in, I kind of want to go off into the the distance, into the wilderness to see see what's what. It's very very loud in my ears. Can we send it into the water? Can we ride through the water? We cannot ride through the water. Okay. Um. Let me <laughs> let me finish having a little swim. Through the water. Ooh, spooky ghost. And I'll respawn when we get on the other side. Ah, so it's a freestyle area, I see. And just realised as well, if I press C on my... Was it C on my keyboard? No, it wasn't C. Oh, God, what camera was... I swear this camera looks slightly different than it did earlier. Oh, well, either way, it's fine. Um, let's go around. We've got a little freestyle area. Can we do some, like, backflips and stuff? Can you can you flip? Oh, my Christ. I wish I saw that in third person. No idea why I just done that. Uh, but, yeah, they kind of cater into audiences. I think it's actually really, really cool. See the eye yeet. Oh, God. Hold on, dear. A little, little whipper tail. Love that. And I, I ended up running about earlier just all over the place. I, I feel like I went down some hidden, beaten trail just seeing what I could discover and see what I could find. And you didn't find this. What's, what's this? Oh, this? This place is actually huge. I wish I could go into like a, a fly camera and look around the entire map to see what's what. And what, what is this? Is this... I mean, it says Boot Lake. Have we got oh, some random bikes going on down here? Some Hondas. Is that is that a track up inside that little canyon area? Oh, and I think this is like a massive, like, dooney type free ridey area. Oh, this looks sick. Okay, no, this is cool. This is cool. I vibe with this. Right, what way does it go? Is the question. Uh, I mean, I'm going to try this way. So no, it looks like a kind of like a quarry enduro esque area. Please don't go in the water. Thank God. So, yeah, there's a little bit of everything, which I think is really, really cool. And so, to the guys and the devs at Boot Lake, and those that made it, I think you should uh, give yourself a bit of a pat on the back. Like, this is genuinely, like, really sick. I don't know how else to word it or how else to give more praise, but compared to the last time I hopped on this, I mean, visually, it looks a lot better. Uh, I believe there's more tracks, unless I just miss missed a whole bunch of them. It's really, really cool. I'm, kind of, like, I'm having more fun just exploring than anything else. It's just like a massive, like, compoundy free ride type area. I want to go over into this little, like, canyon esque hole in the ground and see what's what. I mean, we've got some enduro tyres that way. Is that water? Oh, that is water. I'm going to crash if I go in that. Go on, get through it. Get through it. Get through it. Go, 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 go. Go. Ah! Oh my crap! <clears throat> See, Roblox isn't opposed to having its occasional bug. Does that go... There's no way that goes underground in there, surely. Oh, my Christ. What are we discovering? This is actually wild. I don't know what's going on. Like, we're... We're... We're going, un we're going underground? Okay. Oh, no, it doesn't actually go that far. I thought we was going to find some, like, weird and wonderful underground stuff. I mean, this is... Like, all, all trails winding up this hill. And I'm guessing this is intentional by the fact that... Oh, God, don't fall down there. By the fact that there is some additional textures and dirt paths... Let's go up and round. I think this is all part of like a. Oh, I think my bike might be getting a bit boofed here. I say I'm sure there's I'm sure there's some bugs, and this bike is uh, is a test version as well. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. You have to go into neutral and then back again. Let's get up here. Better heel physics than MX bikes. Love that. Do, 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 do. It's weird to think that I'm recording this on a Tuesday, and on Wednesday I'm meant to be taking part in another MX Simulator race. Which I probably should be practicing for, rather than doing weird stuff like this. Oh god, I don't know. I don't get it. Um, this is a interestingly paced fence. You're uh, you're kind of blocking me in there, me boy. And then we go out into another wide open bit. I feel like there's definitely going to be some tracks that I've missed out because this place is just huge. Like I, I, it's, I have no idea. Oh, what like the map scaling is like? There's no way you can aquaplane, surely. No, you couldn't. I just got lucky. Okay, but um. You know, I think that I might wrap that up. I think I've done a much better job of showcasing what this place is all about this time rather than last time. If I uh, da, 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 reset my character and we'll go back into the lobby, in case you haven't seen me do a video on this before, you kind of spawn in this massive like hub area. And if I come over here and I click to customize my character, uh, you can go into rider gear and you've got all different kind of motocross 
gear that you can uh, stick onto your rider as well. Uh, if any of the devs are watching, before I disappear, if I click on this ET3 style helmet, it glitches me up into the ceiling and I can't do anything. Like this, <coughs> I can't move. So there's a bug if you boys ever want to try and fix that at all. But really, really good stuff. I think it's very, very impressive. And for it being completely free and all built within Roblox, I, f I feel like it, it meets a certain market, a certain niche market, and it's all good fun. Who's left there? Who's left a Yamaha waiting around for me here? Oh, there we go. So yeah, some bikes are manual. Some bikes are fully uh, fully automatic in terms of transmission. And can we get a little bit of bike life to see us out? No, we can't. Oh, so it's actually some skill involved. You can't just lean back and that's it. Let's see if we can keep it up. Keep it oh, no, okay. Yeah, I dropped the front end too easily. Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew I'd miss another track. Here we go. I've literally like just signed off from the end of the video. But... I kind of feel like I have to cover everything. Uh, that's not the best way you want to do it. I'm going to actually put the automatic bike back on that I was on at the beginning. Just this one. Because I'm a... Oh, God. I'm not going to be able to go off that, am I? Back it up, Terry. it. Fill up with enough oomph. With enough oomph. Yes! There we go. Love that. Right. Let's carry on. On to our adventure. Uh, yeah, I literally signed off the video thinking I'd done it all, and then I come across another track. Oh, so these ruts are built differently to some of the other tracks. These ones don't hold you in quite as well, so it's a little bit trickier. You see, there's no, like, lip at the top that holds you in place. What is... How does that... There's like a... I guess it's like a little free ride jump that goes down there. Okay, fair enough. And I've got no rider gear on anymore. I've got no helmet. Wear a helmet, kids, when you're riding any sort of... Uh, dirt bike or any sort of motor vehicle. Maybe even in a car, you know, just to be extra safe. Slap a helmet on. Why not? Doesn't doesn't hurt anybody. I think... I feel like this track I might have played last time i I done this uh, area as a whole. So I remember... Yes, yeah, so I remember this area where it's like a steep cliff down on my left side. And you had a big old jump here. You get steezy over. Don't go off the side. Oh my lord! I can barely see what's going on. I have no idea how you guys watching can. Do, 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 do. Up into the sand berm, rah, back onto the start straight. Oh, that's it's actually quite a short track. So this is this is called Ski Jump, this track. And has, has there been a ski jump anywhere? There's, there's, been, there's been one biggish, biggish type jump, I suppose. And what was that? Like, what's this here on the left? Do I do I send that and downside something different? Is it like a weird little, weird little transfer? Please don't go in the water. I don't want to have to respawn another bike. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, just that. Uh, there's someone over there. There is someone over there. What's quite nice about this server right now as well is it's quite populated. There's a good amount of people. I think there was like 20 or so people on when I loaded in. And you just ride around, have some fun, talk to people. I'm, I mean, I'm, I probably shouldn't be talking to people. It might come across a bit sus, me talking to a bunch of kids in Roblox. But I'll, I'll, I'll keep to myself. I'm not going to go all Philip Schofield. And I'm going to love you and leave you, though. And now I'm actually going to do the sign-off. I don't know how I'm going to edit that the first one out that I've done. Um, but if you did like, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you're up to. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.